Hello everyone, Relgan here with a CVP game that I played against Monty on the AU server. I opened this game with a 13-12 into early speedling aggression, followed up with two quick hatcheries. And we'll see what happens if your opener doesn't really do as much damage as you wish it would. And what happens if you take a lot of damage in the mid game and how you can actually try to win a game where everything has gone wrong for you. Right off the get go, I can do absolutely no damage at all to him. I managed to kill one salad. Delayed is natural for quite a while. I'm behind six drones right now because I only really care about the minerals. I don't really care about my gas right now. So that's still okay. Income wise, I'm ahead in minerals and of course behind in gas. He goes for a Stargate, which means oracles will come our way. Perhaps Phoenix, but usually it's oracles. He's going for an. Phoenix this game, a phoenix, well then. On my side of things I'm just droning up. I have some safety links at home in case he were to attack me with his adepts. But he does not. Just in time for the phoenix and oracles, I'm building these three spore crawlers so I'm, fi so I'm safe against that. He's doing some damage with his phoenix, some harassment. You see that very often these days. It used to be a lot more often. But people kind of stopped doing the Phoenix stuff and instead switched over to pure Adept. He was maybe scared of Mutas, that's why he went for the Phoenix, but I'm not sure. Anyways, these Adepts are doing are going to do a lot of damage. It's going it's a two base Adept Phoenix attack with a third base follow-up. And I was not prepared for this at all. So as you will be able to tell I'm going to lose a lot of workers right here. Down 12 workers already. Takes out the spore crawler, so these overlords are destined to die as well. Some of my hydralisks die as soon as they hatch. I'm supply blocked. I can't even build any more units right now. Trying to clear clear the adepts, but struggling quite a bit. The Phoenix take care of my hydralisks as well. And I'm still somewhat in this game, technically. The problem is uh, I lost so many overlords, everything that I have is kind of delayed. Worker wise we're still about even since he delayed his third for a long time. But he already has all the tech that he wants, he has the immortals, the charge lots are on the way. The phoenix are still cruising around, trying to stop them from killing my units. I do not have a spore crawler right here because um, my hydras are in this area so I'm trying to fend off the Phoenix with my Hydras instead. He has no more energy so he could not lift me there. Check with my overlord. Ah, the third base is there of course. The double robo. Well, here we go. Immortal time. And follow this up with quick lurkers. To try and somehow survive on four bases. I realize that I'm just way too far behind right now. So doing any damage to him is going to be almost impossible. He, safe, he, he secured this base with cannons. Not so much this space over here though. He goes for early attacks, or rather he just goes for attacks. I um, I have my lurkers in position to fend these off. Some more phoenix stuff over here. Can't really do too much about that right now. The phoenix are really important because they can lift my lurkers. I'm just trying to defend his attacks right now. I'm not even maxed out at the 11 minute mark and he already has so many immortals and darkens so this is going to be a really tough hold. I snipe his observer right there and with the observer gone he can no longer push on. He ran into like 10 lurkers and still got out decently so that was not really all that too good for me. Did get the mothership portal. So right now I somehow have to make something happen. Lost a lot of workers over here to a war prism harassment as well. Workers killed. 44 for him. So I'm going for this li for this Hydra Lurker composition. Um, at this point I feel like I have to attack him. Because if he just keeps pouncing at me and takes off takes um, care of my fourth one or two more times, it's going to look pretty dim for me. So I'm going for some lurker drops. At the same time I built the infestation pit, I'm going for the hive and Spire so I can take up the brood lords. I have about 10 lurkers at home to stay safe. I realized that uh, war prism is over there. Try to snipe it, 
but I completely fail and lose like 5 hydras for nothing. Over here we see lurker drops. He immediately lifts them, but he lacks the DPS to actually finish off the lurkers. Lifts them one more time. Over here another lurker gets dropped. Over here another lurker gets dropped. These two lurkers borrow, meaning he has to walk away with the stalker. See, no longer has a mothership core for overcharging. For overcharging. Killed already 20 workers with these. Another lurker over here, shooting away at that base as well. Finally cleans it up with DTs, but this bought me a lot of time for my units. All this was supposed to do was spy me time so I can get up, my, uh, get up to my greater spire, which is already morphing. So I can finish him off with a Ling Hydra Lurker, cur, uh, Ling Hydra Lurker, Brute Lord composition. Brute Lord was what I was looking for. There's a lot of salads and TTs there, doing some harassment to this base, making it hard for me to take it. He can't really push down these ramps right now, uh, because of the because of the lurkers. Now he mo moves on in, tries to kill off this base again. He's up one base right now, so he sh should be pretty happy with that. However, he then walks on top of the lurkers and brute lords are there to protect them. He doesn't really have enough anti-air, just now starting his fleet beacon and the uh, additional spire. So I'm moving in, trying to do as much damage as I can, kiting him away. I have these corruptors. I'm building a lot of corruptors right now to deal with his tempests that are going to come my way. A lot of stuff. He's doing quite a bit of harassment over here. Now, my goal is to kill off the Stargate and the Fleet Beacon. As you can tell, I'm shooting at them. I'm pushing forward with my Lurkers. The Lurkers make sure that he cannot just blink underneath the Brute Lords and kill them all. They're really useful in this position. And I'm slowly starting to kill him. And there's not really an escape for him. The Lurker Hydra Brute Lord composition is just too much with all the Corruptors following up to kill him eventually. Hope you guys like this CVP game. I saw you request some CVP games, so felt like I should deliver. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!